Coach Slice here, um, Belfouche track, and uh, we just uh, came off our conference meet um, at uh, Douglas High School. So uh, yeah, it was the first meet of uh, championship season, really. And uh, you know, it, it's kind of like a warm up to regions, you know, and just trying to build momentum from uh, Howard Wood and roll right into the through the region meet and into state. From the jumpers, we had a pretty good showing. Of course, Aiden Giffen won the long jump. Um, at a high 21 foot jump. Every meet we've jumped in this year, uh, we've won. So um, we're going into regions undefeated right now, um, building a lot of momentum that's, uh, that's really, really uh, good for us. And um, on the girls' side, Matea Ward, uh, she did not long jump in conference, but she did triple jump, ended up winning triple jump. So we had a, a conference champion there on the girls' side, and she ended up PRing again. So. Uh, a high 34, I believe, 34, seven and a half. And so we're um, building some really good momentum with our kids on the JV side, the young kids. Well, we've got almost 20 jumpers at the end of the day total. And a lot of the young kids, you know, the, uh, uh, they don't get to jump very much because our JV meets get canceled uh, early in the season due to weather and whatnot. And there's not a lot of meets that are unlimited entries. Um, so, uh, you know, usually like conference meet, you know, they have a JV section, we load everybody up in there. And so we had, boy, there was one flight where it felt like it was all Belfouche kids, uh, which is, I'm not complaining about, but, uh, you know, everybody gets a chance to jump. And and uh, I want to say nine out of 10 of us PR'd in, in both long and triple. Uh, and then we ended up winning uh, um, on the boys' side, uh, triple jump, we had a JV uh, champion Darian Pasika, um, he he took that title on the girls' side. Uh, J.C. Baxendale, she took the triple jump uh, championship um, on the long jump. Annie Jensen, only an eighth grader, uh, she ended up getting uh, second place in the JV girls long jump. And then um, Cortez Rodriguez, a freshman, uh, PR'd by over three feet in the long jump, jumped a high 18. And um, his mark was high enough that he's now going to be jumping at the region track meet on Thursday. Uh, so he ended up tying for first place online at athletic.net. It says he's, he's second, but his jump tied the first place jump. So he's, I'm just going to go ahead and say it was a co-championship on the JV boys long jump. So anyway, we did uh, very, very well. I'm very happy. Um, the young kids closed out their season um, on a high note. And, uh, you know, a lot of kids jumped well. And now with our varsity kids, we got one more meet before the end game, before state. And just keep the ball rolling, build as much momentum as possible, and uh, try to go score some points, get our kids on the podium for state. Hello, I'm Coach Haxton. I'm the throws coach at Belfouche High School. Um, like we were saying earlier, uh, we had conference. And we had a good conference. So we had... Two athletes, Shelby Moak uh, took discus at sixth with a 98 foot throw and some change. And then uh, Gunner Guybe took uh, discus at second place and he took eighth place in shot. And so both of them are gonna go on to regions um, along with Elijah and a couple of our other athletes that are juniors and seniors they're gonna they're gonna help us try to get some points at region our JV squad uh, did really good they're getting to the end of their season and several of them are making PRs people like Aaliyah Carbajal are doing really good in shot and disc and hopefully they're gonna help us at regions uh, this will be one of the first years we've had some freshmen that are going to regions and so we're really looking forward to that. And then hopefully uh, we'll have two people that'll go to state. Right now I have one state qualifier that will uh, throw discus, that would be Gunner Guy. But I'm hoping that Shelby Moak will pop something out there and, and get a chance to go to state.